I am Daibon Chibonga. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the National Smallholder Farmers Association of Malawi, NASFAM. We started working with IGRISAT in 2000 when we were trying to market groundnuts on the international market. We went to uh, the research station IGRISAT and that's when we entered into a partnership. First by starting to buy uh, nuts that were better off, the Chalimana nuts, to improve them from various parts of Malawi and also Zambia. And then later on to start improving that Chalimbana nut. Malawi had been a very good producer of nuts up to the 70s when we lost the market, mostly due to aflatoxin contamination. And we were able to recapture that market because ICRISAT helped us to produce a nut that was mostly aflatoxin free. But even those that had aflatoxin, they helped us with the aflatoxin management to be able to export nuts that were not at the levels that are not acceptable in the UK markets. Aflatoxin is an issue because it's carcinogenic. Aspergillus flavors is a, a fungus that grows in the soil and it also grows on the nuts, especially when they've been grown uh, towards the harvest when there's a bit of drought and also poor post-harvest handling. So this fungus grows on the nut. And as a result, it produces mycotoxins, which are carcinogenic. And that's why it is an issue. It has to be controlled. The markets in the UK, for example, only accept the, up to four parts per billion. With the help from ICRISAT, we brought in a lab to make sure that we are doing aflatoxin testing uh, to, uh, for nuts to be going when they are less than four parts per billion. But not only for the export crop, but even starting at the farm level to help farmers to manage their groundnuts through agronomic practices that make sure that they are not being infected and also to help them at the post-harvest handling to ensure that they, if there is any infection it doesn't spread and then it goes for processing to make sure that we are sending nuts that are not aflatoxin contaminated. They have been growing groundnuts uh, since the early 2000s uh, they were not able to make a lot of money from it because uh, they were producing the varieties that were not demanded. With our partnership with ICRISAT, uh, both in CG7 and also Charimbana 2000, we were able to develop uh, external markets for them. We think uh, this uh, partnership should go on to go into other ventures and most of our agriculture is uh, rain-fed. Uh, if we can be able to conserve the soil and the water and also to irrigate, we think that we can benefit a lot.